Fuck, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. Revelations. I found you. You beat up pretty bad. Name's John Cinemoy. I'm the head lifeguard here. The voice on the radio told me you were in trouble at the hotel. Said you were resistant to whatever this is. I didn't believe it. But then I found you and I saw the bite marks. You got no symptoms, but <laughs> those aren't love bites, are they? Look, I don't know who you are or how you know that guy on the radio. But he's our only connection with the outside world. We keep losing the bloody signal. We have a monsoon coming. So here's the thing. We need to move everybody to the main lifeguard station. There's an ambulance there and more equipment and a stronger radio with an antenna. I hate to ask, but we can't do this without you. Will you help me? Of course. Good. First off, we need an access card to get past the security gate. Mine's in my room, with all the commotion I forgot to take it with. It's in Bungalow 11, by the pools. Take a weapon and watch yourself. You may be immune, but that don't mean you can't die. I set you free! Brother, Jesus Christ! What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I had no choice!
beautiful. For a moment, you can almost forget. Cat White, you did it? All right, thanks to you, we might all just make it. We need a move. Okay, ready to go out there again? I need you to find a lifeguard station and see if it's safe. Can you do that for me? Yes. Take the beach, it's the shortest way. We'll come as soon as we know it's safe. There should be a working radio inside. Signal us when it's clear, and we'll follow you. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. If you hadn't come along. Y you want to come with me? I'm gathering any supplies I can find at the Water Sports Rental Kiosk. Maybe you'll find something that'll come in handy. There's a table in sight you can use to repair your weapons.
You want more?
do it. Hang tight, okay? We're coming right now. Everybody pack up. We're on our way. Watch the road. We'll be there soon. Nice job, mates. We're safe now, thanks to you. But we won't make it long without food. If help don't come soon, we're gonna have to head to town. Meantime, maybe you could see if anybody needs help. We're safe here for now, but there's still a lot to do. Maybe there's something useful. Come over here. I've got a job for you. I heard this scourge. Came from outer space. Help me with this bloody door. <sighs> Kelly, I should have never listened to Cinemoy. This is hopeless. Hey, I'm Dominic. This piece of shit antenna is too weak to reach past the island. We need a signal amplifier to cut through the static. I worked on an antenna at the lighthouse nearby. I'm sure they got an amplifier there. We wouldn't last a minute against those things, but you, think you can get it for us? Yes. All right, excellent. You bring it back as soon as you can. Prove yourself useful. This baby needs some new spark plugs or she ain't going nowhere. Shame, though. It's a hell of a car. A battalion of those freaks wouldn't slow this baby down. So, if you can find me a few necessary parts from any nearby wrecked cars, and we get this ride rolling, I'll let you take her out any time you want. Deal? I'm in. Excellent. You locate those parts. You know where to find me. Feel like I'm these bodies are starting to rot. You smell that? We need to burn them before they start attracting more of these walking dead motherfuckers. Do me a favor. See if you can't get some gas from that station nearby. Okay. Okay, good. See if you can find a car. That way you can move more gas.
damage. Whoa, great job. Nice. Now just give me a sec and I'll get this bitch running. Can somebody help me with this bloody door? Hey, remember me, mate. I'm the doctor, but I can't do much without medical supplies. The door to the infirmary is locked from the other side and Anne's in critical condition. You think you can help me break the bloody thing down? Yes. I appreciate it. Go on, then. I won't go in there with those things still pumping around. Take them out. Good on you, mate. Now let me get to work. That's it, then. There's nothing I can... What a bloody disaster. Nothing here at all, is there? We need to think of another way. Will you help me? I need you to locate an ambulance or one of the lifeguard vehicles. Inside, you'll find a paramedic bag with all the necessary equipment in it. I'm pretty sure I saw one by the diamond bungalows. Yes. Without your help, we'd all be six feet under by now. Bloody walking corpses. Kelly. Kelly's worried about her husband, Will, but I think he's probably okay. If you happen to be nearby there, can you see if you can find him? Definitely. His name is William. He's about six foot one, black hair, good looking. He's a concierge. He has a friend named Doyle who works in the Diamond District bungalows. I'm thinking, maybe he's hiding out there. Why the hell did I stay here with Cinnamoy? I should have listened to Maggie and left with James and the others. They probably found a way off the island by now. Maybe there's still time to find them. If you're out there and you see Maggie and the others, could you let me know where they are? Yes. Ah, thanks. I'll be here. Because, I mean, you know, where the hell else am I going to go? I ran out in such a rush, I left my necklace behind at the hotel. It's in Bungalow 6 in the silver section. My husband gave it to me. It means a lot to me. I'm offering a reward. Can you help me? Sure. Thank you. Please, be careful.
My husband, he's bleeding. Can you help us? I can't. Name's Roger, brothers. And this is my wife, Jess. We, we were driving like a bat out of hell. When I saw that broke down car, part of me said, forget about it. But I couldn't. I couldn't do that and live with myself. So we stopped to see if we could help. The driver must have been in, in, in shock or something because he threw himself at us like a crazy guy. I had to, uh, had to kill him, but this was self-defense. I was protecting myself. You gotta believe me, but you know what? He took a bite out of me, man. Shit, I think I got whatever he had, rabies, I don't know, fuck. Who the hell knows? But, but can you get Jess out of here? If I start to lose it, I, I don't want to bloody hurt her. Yes. Hey, man. Thanks. Should take her to the lighthouse. My brother James should be there. He'll take her in. Thank you. Can you check on my husband? Can't be. I can't believe you're alive. When we left Sinamoy, it looked like... Jesus. Anyway, you better go see the James. I'm sure I'll be surprised as hell to see you still alive and kicking. Follow me, I'll take you to James. I'm sure he'll be glad to see you still alive. James will probably want to talk to you first. He's what in the back. You should here? go talk to him. James is at the top of the lighthouse. Go see him. Talk to James first. He's the one in charge. Holy shit, you're alive? I'm James. You don't know me, but I sure remember you. Me and Cinnamoy had a slight difference of opinion. He wanted to stay put and wait for help. I wanted to get the hell out of there. So I got the hell out. Now, we're working on setting up the lighthouse to signal for assistance. We sure could use your help. Yes. Now, if you want to get off this island with the rest of us, go talk to my people. See what you can do to help, okay? 
Hey, unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Okay. Good. And when the help finally does get here, and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. What the hell? We followed James to this lighthouse so we could send out an SOS signal using the lamp. But there's something wrong with the power. Marcus went to check the two transformers powering the lighthouse, but he's been gone for hours. Someone needs to see what's happened to him and try to get the power back on. Those things can't do to you what they can do to us. Maybe you can help us. Yes. All right, good. The Transformers are in the northern part of the Gold Bungalow area. If you can get the power back on, I'll let you into the storage ship. I'm Darwin, by the way. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Let's do it. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages either place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. I, I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Sure. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Steven is looking for me? Oh, I wish he had come with us. I'm worried about him. Could you... Could you please tell him that, if you see him? That I miss him and, and I wish he were here with me right now.
This one is down! Where the hell did I put that? Cinemoy's boys aren't doing a damn thing to prepare. Not like we are. Here, take this. Just a token. I saw what you did for us, and I won't forget it. Now, list the lighthouse is back online, but we need to cover all our bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby, when we were chased off by those fucking things. Now, everyone's too scared to go back out there, but if you could finish the sign for us, I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? Sure. 
All right, good. But uh, do me a favor. Be careful out there. Where the hell did I... Maybe there's something in here. It's done? <laughs> Excellent. Uh, look, you're more than welcome to stay here and wait for help with us if you want. Uh, and here's your reward. You earned it. All those passengers. Hurt. Hey, hey, you go over to the door. Uh, uh, give me a sec to open it. What, you want gas? Uh, sorry, the pumps ain't working. Power's out and the generator's in the warehouse next door. Unfortunately, the front entrance is blocked. You know, maybe there's another way in. See, try the roof. That might work. Head out the back so they don't see you. And take some canisters with. 
Yo, once you get in, turn on the power and refuel those canisters. Now that we're here, we're not moving anywhere. It's too friggin' dangerous out there.
Oh. Oh. Please. You gotta take this insulin to my brother, Danny. He needs it. He's in Bungalow 14. Please. I'll see what I can do. Good. Look, you better go. He's running out of time. Name's Marcus. I was fixing this piece of shit when these things came out of nowhere. See if you can get that other transformer back online while I finish fixing this one. Go! What's in here? So thirsty. I feel dizzy and a little nauseous. My heart is pounding, please. I haven't had anything to drink for quite a while. If you bring me some water, I'll give you whatever I have. Yes. Oh. Thank God. Thank you. Whatever you can find. You find anything? Oh, thank God. Thank you! I'm Annie, and I'm looking for my teddy bear. I can't fall asleep without him, and I'm very tired. And those monsters keep knocking. Will you find my teddy bear? Yes. The last time I saw him, he was in our bungalow. Number 15, where I live with my sister Jenny. Remember, his name is Teddy. Tell him Annie sent you, and I'm sure he'll go with you. He's a brave teddy bear. My muscles are starting to cramp up. Oh, thank God. Come <sighs> on. 
I'm so worried about you. Wait, you're not my brother? He must have sent you, right? Thank you. I'll just wait until this kicks in. Wait until Luke gets here. Everything works. Go tell Darwin the good news. I'll stay here just in case the fuses blow when you start pulling power for the lighthouse. This is for you. Thanks for the help. The world's gone fucking...
Hurry it up. These fuckers... Hey, thank you. This should do it. By the way, I'm Mike. I got the bodies piled up outside. Guess we better do this. It's running like a dream. This ride is yours whenever you need it. Let's open this up. You just saved a lot of lives, mate. You may have even saved Anne's. Thank you. You found her? They're still here! Fuck it then, I'm out of here! Yes! This is it! Oh, thank you, thank you so much! Here's the reward I promised. Thank you. I heard this skirt. Urge came out of space. Some fucking vacation, huh? I can help you out, though. You need a weapon, I'm your guy. Bricks and baseball bats can only take you so far. Torch them. They burn real easy. Get yourselves a couple of Molotov cocktails, and you can burn up a whole mob of those motherfuckers. You bring me a couple, and I can make you a few cocktails, if you catch my drift. Let's do this. Good. I'm gonna need some empty whiskey bottles, vodka, whatever. There should be some around here. So you want to burn those bastards or what? Okay, if Marcus said it's gonna work, let's give it a shot and turn it on. I just hope it doesn't bring down the electrical grid. Looks like it worked! Come on, I'll open the storage shed for you.
Nice. Maybe we can finally get this fucker to work. Thanks. What do we have here? Don't know what we would have done without you, mate. You got a moment to talk. I got the radio going, but I'm not hearing anything. Either this guy is farther away than I thought, or the monsoon's messing with the transmission. This may take a while, but don't worry. I have something for you to do in the meantime. We're running very low on food and water. Think you can find some? Yes. Okay then, don't bother with the hotel. With the power out, it's way too dangerous in there. Check the bars by the swimming pools. Bring everything you can find, anything at all, okay? In the meantime, I'll keep trying to reach this guy. That's all there was? Oh, bloody hell, that won't do. We need to find more. There are two petrol stations in the area, right? One by the lighthouse, and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you to go and bring everything you can find. Okay. You might need a car to get it all back. Look for one at the station. Ken, if you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. I'll see what I can do. Go. Hurry, see what you can find. You find anything? Thank you. Thanks. That's perfect. Your life's... Where the... Did I put that? a better place.
We were driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car. John lost control and we crashed. He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. I'll try. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. Please hurry! Please be careful. Please hurry. Oh, thank goodness. John! John, you're gonna be okay. Here, take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want. I bury you. Thank you. Found some wheels, but, uh, damn, something's wrong with the engine because I didn't get very fucking far. I knew I had to get inside somewhere fast and. Came up on this place, but phew, it's locked up tight in a nun's asshole. Could you see if there's another way in? I'm sure there's all kind of crap we might find useful in there. Yes. Okay. I'll wait here by the front. Watch yourselves. Who knows what you'll find in there? Sure don't smell too pretty. I wondered what the hell happened to you. I guess it wasn't the dead I smelled, but just the damp and mildew. Can you help out? Name's Harlan. I'm an airline pilot, and I was staying at the hotel. I was on my way to the airport, and this is as far as I got. So for now, the shack will have to do. I got food, I got water, but the... Only electricity comes from a gas-powered generator. I need more gas, and otherwise I'm gonna be sitting my ass in the dark. 
Eventually the situation will settle, but until then, you think you could help me out? I'll do my best. Now down the hill is a gas station. You bring me two cans of gas and I'll pay you for it. Oh! <laughs> 
you to hell! I'll wait right here. Cool beans. They should keep the lights on for quite a while. Here, take some cash. <laughs> Ain't doing me any good here anyway. Got another idea for you. One of the best ways to take out one of them infected freaks is to set the some bitch on fire. They turn into crispy critters, and that is fucking it for them. I can make a couple Molotovs for you with the gasoline you brought me. Uh, you can take out a couple of those bastards at once. All I need are some empty bottles, and if there's whiskey in them, hell, that's even better. I'll try. Bring me a couple bottles of whiskey or grain alcohol or anything like that, and I'll fix you right up.
Thanks, mate. I was losing hope. It's just what I was hoping for. I've tried every frequency I can and nothing, mate. Silence. No trace of that guy who said he could help us. Dominic's trying to boost the transmitter, but who knows how long that'll take. Meanwhile, everything you bring disappears in a flash. We're almost down to nothing. I was afraid to even think about it, but I don't think we have a choice. I need you to go look for supplies in the town. Can you do this for us? Absolutely. The tunnel leading to the town is blocked. Those things are everywhere. But I have a plan. There's a truck we can use to punch through. I saw some blokes pull an 18-wheeler with a broken axle out of a ditch with it once. If anything can get through the tunnel, it's that rig. Guaranteed. Now get to the parking garage and bring back that truck. Once you do that, then we'll worry about the rest. I heard the scourge came from out of space. in hell.
blood everywhere. Kill those fuckers! <laughs> Soaking into Maybe there's something in here. I'm right here! Good on you. You made it this far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. The security system has locked the doors. Now, I can still help you get through to the parking lot. But first, you gotta promise me something. My partner Ken was trying to make his way here when he ran into a mob of those... those things. If you find Ken, I'll tell you how to get to the parking garage, right? Oh, <sighs> 
Maybe there's something useful. I need something for the pain. Otherwise, 
I ain't gonna fucking make it. Please, give me something. There, uh, there was a first aid kit with, uh, with morphine in the medical room. If you, uh, if you can find it. <laughs> Hurry! Anything will help. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's better. But I need more. <laughs> Just, just wanted, just wanted to see it, Mum. Just wanted to see the puppy. I'm so sorry I made you mad, Mama. I just... Don't be mad. Mom, don't be mad at me. I just... I just... Damage. you to a better place. Oh! <laughs> 
Pay attention now. Listen, the hotel security system is fraud. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. Needs to be rebooted. Luckily, you can reset it manually in a server room. But first, you gotta get past those bloody psychos. I used to work with those poor bastards. Jesus Christ. Rebooting it isn't difficult. But it does take some time. Follow the on-screen instructions and there shouldn't be a problem. Watch your back, though. Who knows who uh, and what is in there? Maybe there's something useful. You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked, and a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot.
safe. Good job. I didn't want to say so, but I was afraid it might not be there. We heard somebody on the radio talking about a chopper going down. From what they said, the crash site's pretty close by. Maybe you can check it out. Sure. Look for survivors first, and then see if there's anything in the wreckage worth saving. Holy shit!
You're dead now. Everything is so fucked up. And these half dead assholes, they're fucking annoying. Max sent you to find me? I can't believe that crazy bitch sent someone to find me. The whole world's going to hell, and the last person I want to be with is that goddamn wife of mine. Look, take the money and whatever else you want. It's no use to me anymore. And tell her. Tell her I'm dead. Believe me, it's for the best. Only one thing left to do. I need more champagne. I fucking love champagne. Can you find some for me? You find me champagne, and I'll give you whatever I have. Whatever you want. I'll see what I can do. You like sweaty. Okay, baby, we're going to party. Now find me some champagne, and not the cheap shit. Ooh, champagne. You like sweaty. I need champagne. Ooh, sh you. Ooh, you. My name is Nikolai. As you can see, this piece of shit helicopter that was supposed to get me off this fucking island crashed. Figures, it wasn't Russian. We need to get out of here, my friends. Soon this place will be swarming with those things. 
Before we crashed, I saw a bunker by the beach. Once inside, it would be a great place for us to hide. Very defensible. Unfortunately, it's surrounded by those infected freaks. If you can get us to the bunker, I guarantee I will get you off this goddamn island. Possible, my friends. Here's a little something for your trouble. Maybe there's something in here. Normally, I would have called my comrades right after the crash to have them pick me up within a few hours, but my satellite phone was also unfortunately destroyed. I need you to go into the city, find my restaurant, Cafe Kiev, and tell Sergei there to give you a satellite phone. Bring it to me, and we will be off this piece of shit island in no time. Interested? Sure. Good, good. Give him this ring. He'll know you came from me. Now go. Poor son of a bitch, I thought he'd make it. Guess I was wrong. Thanks anyway, I appreciate the help. I heard this. Good. Every little bit helps us hang on a little longer. It's a big, powerful truck, but we need to turn it into a bloody tank. 
We need to reinforce it, make it unstoppable. You up for that? All right. Good. There's a workshop not far from the lighthouse. You'll find what you need there. You know how to weld? Let's just pray the mechanic's still alive then. We'll need to find somebody else. Maybe there's something inside. the nice people.
Oh, son of a bitch. They can't help what they are. They sick in the head. I showed some compassion. I got bit. By tomorrow, I'll, I'll be one of them. Got maybe six hours left. Probably less. But until then, I can still do some good, right? What do you want this thing to be? A rolling fortress? A, a homemade tank? I can add some armor or whatever. You want me to give it a try? Sure. Now you're talking. Make it so those bastards don't interfere, and I'll pimp your ride. Damn straight. I'm done. It'll have to do. Hey, there's one more thing. My daughter can't stay here. What? Soon I won't be in my right mind. I don't want to hurt her. We'll take her to the lifeguard. He can't protect her. Not like you can. I want you to take her. Uh-uh. Sorry, Bubba. No way. Hey. Is this what you need? Then give me what I need. What are you saying, Dad? I'm not going anywhere. No, honey, honey listen to me. You have to, honey. There's nothing for you here now. I'm not leaving you. Look, look at me. Look at me. I love you. And this is how I want you to remember me. You promised me you'll take care of her. She'll come with us. Dad, no! Dad! You go on now. And don't you lose hope. Live your life. I love you.
take any stupid chances. You die out there, and our last chance to survive dies with you. Mom always wanted to come back here, but she never got the chance. We settled here after her death. The island helped him forget, and he poured his heart and soul into it. This is where my heart is, too. So, if we're supposed to help someone, let's just do it. Of course. All set? Let's go. I say we check out the church first. Anyone still alive would probably go there. I would. Leave them like this. Lifeguard said you'd be coming. 
One of ours, possessed by a demon, locked himself in the belfry. Please help us silence these bells. They are calling to the devil's disciples. Thank you. You saved us. Those demons nearly pushed their way into the church. And Frank, his soul was lost to the beast. You need supplies, food, medicine? I'm sorry, but the city has already been looted. You won't find much unless you know where to look. I will help you, but only if you promise to help me. For it is the Lord's will that you are here. Yesterday, we lost our water supply. Two brave souls left this morning to check the pump station. They haven't returned. Sure. Can you find out what happened to them? Or at the very least, turn the water back on? Now I believe you might be able to. When the madness started, I was able to evacuate here, but my wife and daughter, they didn't make it. Someone told me they saw them out there, half dead, half alive. God knows what they are, but they are no longer my family. Please, this is not easy, but I would like you to lay them to rest, to stop their suffering, yeah? They deserve peace. Not this. Will you do it? Sure. Thank you. Here is a photo of them. Please. Make it quick. Let me know when. It's over. Can we were attacked by the infected last night. I managed to get away, but I don't know what happened to my family. If they survive, they probably don't know I'm still alive. Could you help me let them know that I'm okay? I made some posters. I I if you can put them up around town, maybe someone I know will see them. Of course. Put my poster all around town and maybe they'll be able to find me. They
Thanks for that. I'm trying to fix a CB radio so I can finally get someone to rescue us, but I'm missing a few parts. I need a transformer and some cable. They're in a shop not far from here. You think you could locate them for me? I'm in. Good. Just be careful. Uh, my name is Tavin. All I need is bleach. I have the means and materials to extract Potassium chloride. Very volatile. Very powerful. Used in grenades, motor rounds and landmines. If you bring me bleach, I'll give you a contact grenade or a landmine. Whatever you need. Yes. Uh, good, good. Uh, excellent, wunderbar. Any kind of bleach will do. Yeah. Uh, let us put this poor soul... Turning this place into a fortress, and I'm in charge of defense. Before we found this place, we were searching for guns, and all we found was money. Mucho dinero! So if you can find some green alcohol for Molotov cocktails, we would be glad to give you some of that feria. Whoever it belonged to probably isn't going to be needing it, huh? Definitely. Five bottles of alcohol. Find something. I'm Kwan. My brother and I came here from Korea to work, to send money back for our family. I went out to look for food, and those things, they tried to kill me. If not for Nick, I'd be dead. He bring me here, but my brother, he's still hiding in apartment. He probably thinks I'm dead. He's there all alone, it's not safe there. Could you find him and bring him back here, please? Absolutely. I don't have anything here to give you. But we have money. You can have it. We live at 13 Seahat Street. Thank you, and please, find my brother. <laughs> my asthma inhaler is almost empty. <laughs> and I can't breathe without it. <laughs> <laughs> the stress of all this is just making it worse. <laughs> I know all the nearby pharmacies have been looted, but if you happen to find even a partially full inhaler, I'd be very grateful. <laughs> I'll try. Oh, thank you. I don't know how long this one will last. <laughs> I was with some survivors, and we were attacked by looters. And I ran, and I think I'm the only one who made it. One of those bastards took my wallet. All my money, credit cards, passport, and my daughter's picture. She's back home in New York, and she's the only thing keeping me going. I'm here on business, and I promised her I'd be back in time for her 10th birthday. Disappointed her so many times. I, 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 I just don't want to break that promise. Will you help me find those bastards? I'm in. They jumped us by the drugstore close to the canal. They're probably still hanging around there. Do this for me.
know if you find anything useful. <gasps> oh my god. You found one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here, I have some painkillers I was saving. Please take them. I worried about you. <laughs> Can't hurt to look.
send you to hell! Get the fuck out of here! This is all.
burning hell. Get up, I kill you. The good they are. You made it. I knew Mother Helen would send someone. Now that these devils are gone, we can take care of the water. We'll go with Frank to start the pumps. But in the meantime, we could use more help. It looks like the equipment is basically okay. Power's okay. Pumps working. Filters, uh-huh. I just worry about pressure. It's too low. It looks like we have some open fire hydrants. Yeah, uh, five of them. Hey, someone has to take care of this. If we want tap water, we need to close those five hydrants. Okay. Let me tell you where they are, approximately. There's a car in the loading area under the crane. Use it to get to the hydrants. We have to stop that...
I've got... Can you check the dead in the pumping station and make sure none of them are dangerous? If they are, then you must send them straight to hell. Let's do this. Good. There are many tools in the workshop that y'all can use for this purpose. Thank you, friends.
Thank you. May God have mercy on their souls. Let's open this up. God bless you. Water will help us survive these dark days and better serve our Lord and Savior. Your good deeds have reignited hope in the hearts of those who survived to serve the Lord. When the end of days began, the people were afraid. Many panicked and rioted. Stores were looted. There's nothing left here. You will have to search in the wealthy part of town. Unfortunately, there's no good way to get there. The wealthy didn't want the poor taking what was theirs. So they destroyed all the bridges, cutting themselves off from the rest of the city. I don't know whether you wish to save the world or bring it down. But until time ends, we can still save the innocent. One of our flock, Joseph, knows the way. He will help you. We need to we need to bolster the church against any attacks from those undead demons. For that, we need some special tools. Will you help us find them? Yes. Oh, excellent. The, the tools I have in mind are in Antonio's workshop at the pump station. Have you found the tools? She has diabetes, and without insulin, she's not going to make it. Sure. Oh, God, thank you. There's a pharmacy not far from here, and I'm sure they have some insulin pens. I'll be right here. I don't want to leave her. We need someone to scrounge some batteries for the flashlights. At night, we turn off the lights so as not to attract undue attention. Would you be willing to help us out with that? I'm in. I was hoping you would say that. Look in the shops, cars, homes, they can be anywhere. If you find anything, bring it back. Alcohol to disinfect the cuts and scrapes of the injured. So many are hurt. Absolutely. Good. Hurry. Infection could be more dangerous than the original injury. Mother- I'm Hugo. Mother Helen told me that you can be trusted. Our brother Grant needs someone to help him with the town's public address system. We must tell those who are still alive that they can seek sanctuary here. Would you go to Grant and help? I'll try. God bless you. Head to the radio tower and give Grant this recorder. This is what he is to broadcast. 
I'll contact him on the walkie-talkie and let him know that help is on the way. This is great. Thank you. If you find any more alcohol, we can always use it. Yes. That's it. Great. Thank you. Let's hope this gets us the hell out of here. I worried about him. We'll turn those pendejos into fucking chimichangas! Thank you. Her picture's the only thing keeping me going.
I can hear them out there. What is wrong with them? Please, Gon is still alive? Oh my god, I thought for sure he was dead. Let's keep going. Dead ones! We need to stay together. Let's move. You see him? Let's move. Look. Gone? Thank God! I thought you were dead! Oh! I was so worried! Thank you! Thank you for saving him! You are heaven sent, the answer to our prayers. Her husband is with the Lord now, and the baby she carries is all she has left of him. May the Lord be with you and protect you and protect us all. She agreed? Okay then. One of the sewer tunnels goes under the river. 
it leads to the other side. But the sewage level needs to be lowered first, because right now everything is flooded. We can go to the maintenance building and I can show you what and how, but you need to help me. I don't move as fast as I used to. I need you to protect me from those demons. Will you? All right. Thank you. Well, let's go then. Okay, we'll try to pass through that building. I think it will be best if we go straight ahead. That was it! Dear Lord, they're everywhere! Stay close. See that greedy bastard? It is the end of days, and yet he worries only about making money.
We're here. Behind that door is the entrance to the city. The what? Die! <laughs> <laughs> Stronger. The way there is flooded. We have to get rid of that water. We need to close the valves and raise the floodgates to lower the water level. Will you help me, friends? Yes. Let's get to work then. You have to open the valves so I can...
Now they're really dead. Maybe there's something useful.
Hey, it's good to see some new faces. If you made it, maybe there's more survivors out there, eh? Everything all right? You look like you've been to the bloody arena. You came through the sewers? Well, that means those things can get through that way as well. Blowing the bridges with the only thing to do. Keep out the infection. Ah, oh, we can't sit in here forever. Everything's going to hell. The plan. Somebody must have a goddamn plan. What? Who in God's name are you, and how the hell did you get inside here? You're here to find food and medicine. Well, I'm sorry, but that's impossible. Our supplies are limited, and we need everything we have. That's all I have to say to you for now. People are waiting on me, and I have things to do. That asshole just said the exact same thing those motherfuckers at the police station did. Things go to shit, and it's every fuckwit for himself. 300 families. The flushest motherfuckers in the city. It's just like New Orleans. As long as they got theirs, who gives a shit if the ghetto burns? Man, they're just playing for their own team. And I think it's about time we did the same. What are you saying? I'm saying that we have to find that guy on the radio. And the lifeguard? We promised to help. Oh, fuck the lifeguard, man. If not for him, we wouldn't be stuck here like this. Make the call! Jen, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Were you able to get anything? We're calling it off. Come get us at the sewer exit. Wait, wait, what are you planning to do? Look, if we're gonna survive, we need to get the hell out of here. No one here is gonna help us. We're supposed to be the ones helping. We're the only ones who can. I couldn't help my father, but I can help the others. Jin, listen. The best way to help everyone is to find that guy from the radio. He's the only one who understands what's going on. We're only wasting our time here. I promised I would get those people food and medicine, and I will, with or without your help. We're staying with the plan, or I'm taking the car and you're on your own. You won't make it without us, doll. You know it's true. And if you leave us here without transportation, we're not going to make it either. No one's going to make it if we don't help them. The girl is right. What do you want to do, Jin? It's up to you. I want to supply everyone. The resort, the church, the police station. The motherfuckers at the police station? Are you kidding me? We'll supply everyone but the police station. Those assholes can fend for themselves. Then we'll find the voice from the radio. Agreed? I'll be at the sewer exit. Over and out. Anything will help. So much blood. Damn. That's all our food. Only a matter of time before the I'm full sure riot and break down the gates. I'm sure there's an emergency plan in place. He's not a stupid man. What do we do when we run out of food? Maybe I can help you. I heard you talking to the mayor. I know where you can find what you need. Not far from here is a market. The problem is it was overrun by one of the rascal gangs. They'll kill you as quick as look at you. But I know a way through the sewers. It's not an easy trick, but you don't look the type that's easily discouraged. Interested? All right. All the entrances to the market are barricaded, except for the one that very few know about. Head downstairs and talk to the guard at the door. That old drunk will let anyone through if you offer him a little favor. It's the only way. I'm not supposed to let anybody by, but I could turn a blind eye if you could 
do something for me. Sure. I'm stuck here for the time being, guarding this goddamn gate. I can't even leave to have a bloody piss! So if you could go upstairs to the mayor's office and look for a bottle of booze, I'd appreciate it. Anything will do. If I'm gonna bloody sit here waiting for doomsday, the least that pompous jerk can do is make sure I'm properly lubricated. You wanna do it? Got it? Thanks. That should wet my whistle for a bit. On your way, then. in here.
let you in! You're fucking dead! There's something in here. Rascals.
Now they're really dead. Last one. Load it. We're covering you. God damn it. They're coming. Oh, shit. You've got company. Hurry up. Ready.
done. Now they're really dead.
tools. Many do not share our faith. A few of these sinners have taken possession of the police station. The girl Jin went to share food with them. Joseph went with her, and I fear for both of them. Can you bring them back? All right. Lord, watch over them. Joseph is a good man. You must look for them. Please, hurry! Don't come any closer. <clears throat> One of them abominations bit me. <laughs> she got it in her head to go to the police station to give them supplies to... <clears throat> they were drunk, laughing. I begged them to let her go, and they beat me until I blacked out. <clears throat> When I came to, I was on the other side of the wall. But she's probably still alive. <clears throat> they wanted to keep her. Use her. Uh, you'll get her back, right? You can get in there through the sewers. Uh, the building's locked off, but I'll give you the key. They didn't take it off me. Make them pay for what they did to her. <coughs> All she wanted was to help. <clears throat> and they... Oh, they... <coughs> now go get her out of there.
Name's Nick. My friend Bob was bitten. We did all we could to help him, but he started to turn, and we had to abandon him. With his last human impulse, he blocked the door behind us. We have to get back inside. We can't stay out here in the street. It's certain death. Yes. I'm not capable of killing the poor bugger. Bob's like a brother to me. So if it's going to get done, it's going to have to be you. See if you can go in through the roof and clear what's blocking the door. In the military, they taught us how to kill, but no one ever told us what to do when your best friend is the enemy. You want to help us out again? Something's been bothering me. There used to be an army base here. This is where I was stationed. But ever since this insanity started, I haven't seen a bloody uniform anywhere. I'm starting to wonder if the army has something to do with this. Wouldn't be the first time a bioweapon was accidentally unleashed. Sure. Right. Why wouldn't you be? Take this recorder and record everything you hear. There are two transmitting stations on Banoi. One's on the prison island, so you can bloody forget that one. But the other one is somewhere in the jungle. It's a long shot, but you might as well give it a try. Let me know what you find out. Let's not take forever, right? I need a runner. I need you to run to the nearest pharmacy and bring me uh, this. I've written it down for you. Make sure this is what you're getting. It should be in the pharmacy's refrigerator. Got it? Absolutely. Good. Go. Then? Any news?
Let's take a look. I'm a police officer. I've been locked in the cell for two days without food or water. Except for a few, everyone on the force was out trying to restore order. And that's when the rascals came. They wanted somewhere safe, so they took the station. Will you help me get out of here? I'm in. Thank you. Here, take this key and put it into the control panel on the wall. Every cell door will open. From here on out, I can take care of myself. Good on you. Yeah, I can take it from here.
down. Wrong with you? Get out! You two, go! I just, I just tried to help. I tried. It's all right, love. We're getting you out of here. Christ, what did they do to you? I just, I just want to leave. I just want to go. Bitch sold us out. Hey, come on, man. We're a team, right? We stick together. That's exactly why she shouldn't come with us. We all could have died. She fucking lied to us. Then we could head to the hotel. She made a mistake. She was trying to do the right thing. Let's just take the supplies back to the resort and get her off the island. She doesn't belong here anyway. I'll go look for the goddamn car. And what if she make another mistake? I don't think she'll be making that one again. I'll wait here for you. Did you get those posters? Need something from the police station. It's a small yellow file, and you'll find it on a detective's desk. They were investigating the rape and murder of my wife, and some asshole named Esau is the prime suspect. But they didn't have enough evidence, so they couldn't bring him in. No one would testify against him. They were too afraid. I need to know what he looks like and where he lives, because he does not deserve to breathe the same air as decent people do. Will you help me? 
Yes. So you believe in justice? Good. You showed a lot of courage saving your friend. She carries the fire of faith, and you must protect her. We thank you for the supplies that you delivered to us. Our days are numbered on this earthly plane, but while we are here, we can still do the Lord's work. Cinemore here. If you really so want to prove here. you're worthy in the eyes of the Lord, you must do his dinner. work. The cemetery is being desecrated by the abominations. We managed to bury the brave ones who gave their lives to save ours. But their peace is now being disturbed. Our Lord wants you to reclaim the consecrated ground from the devil's disciples. Will you fulfill his wish? All right. Make sure no foul creature taints the sanctity of this place.
Et des tickets, tous Have you found the tools Very good. You are becoming worthy in the eyes of our Lord. There are so many corpses, look at them, and they're starting to decompose. Oh, they need to be buried, but I can't bury this many bodies with me bare hands. I'll see what I can do. Bring me a spade or a shovel, and I'll do what needs to be done. They need to... This will do just fine, thank you. I'll find some volunteers, and we will bury the dead. Yeah, I should talk about damage. Let's not take forever, right? Hold on. We sent our friend Bill to the police station to get some important data that might just help us get off this bloody island. Bill hasn't come back yet, and we're worried something happened to him. Would you be willing to look for him? This information he was looking for could prove to be very useful. Yes. Good. I would say you should probably leave sooner than later. Good, excellent. Now let me get back to work. Hear anything interesting?
lay down my life for any of those fuckers. If you're waiting to get served, forget about it. My friends packed up and left. Left me here to die. They want to hole up in some hideout. Heard them talking about it once. Somewhere in the jungle, they say. Meanwhile, they leave me here all alone. Bastards. Maybe there's something in here.
dead. Oh, Jesus. Listen, you have to help us here. The data he was looking for are emergency radio frequencies. They're on the computer in the Chief's office. They might help us to get in contact with the outside world. Let's open this up. in here.
wasting a lot of money. Show you. Ah! Here, quickly. I am so sorry. It's a trap. Don't kill me! Those bandits kidnapped my daughter and threatened to kill if I don't cooperate. Please save her. She's all I have left. I'll do my best. Who knows what those pigs are doing to her? They have her in a warehouse by the pier. Everything I own is there. They took it all. Tell her I love her, and I'm waiting for her in the place where we agreed to meet.
my dad sent you? Then he must be okay. I lost all hope when they caught me. Oh, I'm so happy he made it. Thank you so much. Let's take a look. Let's not take forever, right? These are them, huh? Talk to Nick. He'll understand what the hell these frequencies mean. Maybe we'll even get some bloody help here, finally. Any news? Thank you. The thought of them out there without me. Good. Yeah. This is it. And I just need one more favor. I need a gun to take from him what he took from my wife. His life. I'll give you everything I have for it. I need to make this right. Are you with me? Of course. My next door neighbor had a gun, and I'm sure it's still there. I know he didn't take it, because I saw his half eaten body in the hallway. Obviously he ran out without taking it. Oh, bless you, good people. These tools will be very, very useful. Oh, uh, if you don't mind, Oh, we have hammers, but no nails. I searched the entire church, but there's nothing. Without them, we can't board up the doors and windows. Yes. Look around the neighborhood. Search the backs of trucks. Uh, search the bodies of, of those who are no longer among the living. Maybe you'll find something.
Thank you. It's judgment day. Time for all the sinners to pay. What do we have here? God, Mother Helen sent you to help me. I couldn't do this on my own. I could use your help. I'm hooked into the town's public address system, but I can't broadcast anything until the loudspeakers on the building rooftops are activated. You think you could help me with that? Yes. Great. If you activate all the loudspeakers, then Mother Helen's words will be heard by everyone who can still be saved. You will find them on the rooftops. We must let everyone know that they can seek sanctuary in the church. We can't have speakers on. I'm off!
dead now. You bloody did it. You managed to activate all the loudspeakers in the shanty town. That's a start, but there are still more people. There are more loudspeakers on the buildings near the coast. Would you be willing to activate those as well? I'll see what I can do. Good on you. Let me know when it's done. The people.
Maybe there's something inside. People by the coast can now hear our broadcast. I hope you still have it in you to help. But we still need to activate the speakers in the town center. You up for that? Let's do this. Thank you. Make it back in one piece so I know the speakers have been activated.
You dead!
We did it. The broadcast was heard all over the town. Now anyone still alive will know where to find sanctuary. Head back to Mother Helen. She'll be needing you at the church. May the Lord protect you. Come on, faster! Faster! God, I thought all was lost. This kind of hunger makes people crazy. Some were saying we should eat the dead. We do that. How are we any different from those things out there? What you brought us a couple of more weeks of hope. Sadly, not for everybody. But you're probably wondering if we reach that guy on the radio, right? All right. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I told you our equipment turned out to be too weak. Dominic and a few others headed to the hotel to try the antenna there. We haven't heard from them for two days. So you're our last hope. You need to find them, and we need to pray that he's still alive. Because he's the only one who can get that hotel antenna up and running.
damage. to look. It's ten after. Where the fuck is he? One on four point eight respond. This is the hotel. Maybe we should try again in an hour. An hour? One on four point eight, are you there? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hang tight, 104.8, because we're coming for you, buddy. That is if the offer still stands. Of course. I'll call in a helicopter and we'll be evacuated to the nearest aircraft carrier. But first, you have to get here. We have wheels, we have gas, we'll get there. Wheels won't cut it. Well, why not? Where the hell are you? You see the ocean? That island on the horizon? If you had a high-powered telescope, you'd see me waving to you. That's where the prison is. Who the fuck are you? A convict? Speak! My name is Ryder White. I'm a colonel with the BIDF. Banoi Island Defence Force. I came to the prison to get my wife. A doctor, Emily White. Can we speak with her? What's that? Come again? We want to speak to I her. I told you, she's barely here. Bitten by one of the infected. She was trying to help him. I only know all this because of her. Listen, you try to soften us up by making us feel sorry for your wife and then promise us a way off this goddamn island, all from a fucking prison? Of course we're gonna be suspicious. How do you think I found you at the hotel? I'm a BDIF colonel, not some thug in a cell. So why don't you call your own people? Contact the fleet. Do you hear how bad the reception is? A bloody monsoon's coming. The fleet is 80 miles offshore in the middle of the storm. The satellite's down. We're cut off. Any more questions? He's telling the truth. And how would you know? She's not just a hotel desk clerk, right? Time's running out. You're coming or what? I guess we don't have a choice. But first we need to find a goddamn boat. There's no point. This is for nine. The prison is surrounded by a minefield. You have to find a guide through to the bunkers, inland to Mengindi, and find a smuggler called Moen. He knows the way. Bunkers? Japanese bunkers from the war. They're mostly destroyed, so you should have no problem entering. They will lead you inland. All right, White. We're taking you at your word. If this is some kind of con, I will personally take you off at the head. Trust me. It's us against them. We'll be in touch. I send you to hell!
Come here for a second. Okay, listen, there's this tall hombre that owes me some money. Mucho dinero. But he came down with whatever this infection is and paid me what he owes me in exactly his first priority. I'm thinking his money's inside his bungalow. But I need the key to get in there. It's not like the poor hijo de puta needs it anymore. Hey, listen, if you get me the key, we'll split the cash. Deal? I'm in. Good, good. Listen, he's hard to miss, very tall. And I'm pretty sure I saw him at the bar. Get back here as soon as you have the key, all right? Maybe there's something useful.
Let's keep moving, amigos. That's it. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias, amigos. All right, here's your cut. Amigos, I hear there are more survivors at the lifeguard tower. Can you help me get there? If you do, I'll give you this weapon. Promise. One shot takes down a mob of those pendejos. Definitely. Gracias. We better go, huh? Gracias. Hey, I always remember my amigos. See, if you're heading for the jungle, then the fastest way is through the tunnel. I've been hearing shit, and I gotta say, the most dangerous animals out there are human. And I don't mean the dead ones. Shit's been going on there for years, way before this fucking pandemic hit. Two names keep coming up, Afran and Matutero. Stone Cold Killers is what I hear. So if that's where you're going, you watch your ass. You want to get into those old war bunkers, you're going to need something to blow through those armored doors. Let me see what I got. Maybe I could put something together with that Semtex you salvaged from that helicopter crash. Wonder why the hell they were flying around with that shit in the first place. Let me get to work putting together a fuse. Come back in a bit, and I'll have something you can actually use. There you go. Just don't blow your balls off. And don't forget to bring somebody with who knows their way around. It's easy to get lost in there.
I... My mother said she used to play inside them before they were sealed. If we can get one of them open, we can head inland. Of course. I can lead the way. Someone must have been hiding in that bunker and attracted their attention. I don't like this, but you do what you need to. more of them show up. Over there. You're gonna have to take care of them.
We're blowing it up? Okay. One, two... Get inside, quick! The sound of that blast is gonna attract a lot of attention. We're supposed to get the fuck off this island, not hike deeper into the goddamn jungle. We need Moen for that. Trust me, he's the only one who can get you past those floating mines. Do what he wants, and he'll do what you want. Get him to the bloody lab! This isn't only about what Moen wants, is it, White? You're pushing us there for another reason. Don't you understand? Each one of you has had contact with these things, and none of you have gotten sick. to save my wife. She's still alive? They gave us something, some medicine. I don't know what it is. It slows down the process, but not forever. The doctors in the lab could use the antibodies in your blood to create some sort of cure. It may be Emily's only chance. What the fuck? Well, what do we do? We do what's right. We do the right thing. Pona, you are a police officer. You protected those who couldn't protect themselves. This is your path. Jin, you are more full of compassion than any of us. You know what it's like to lose someone you love. What do you want to do? I don't fucking care. Well, I do. Time to step up, Logan. You in the game, or warming the bench? Sam B? Yeah, I hear you. We a crew. We hang together. All right, then. Let's do this. Once you find the village, ask around for Moen. The villagers should know him. I know somebody who might help us out, but their village is really far from here. We're gonna need to take a car.
Right. Let's get going before four of them show up. What the hell happened here? Is this infection all over the island? Jesus Christ. They were caught totally by surprise. Look, it's Jin. Jin, what are you doing here? Get inside quick, I will open a door for you. Machutero, where is Moen? I'm getting to that woman. We've been through hell here. Last night, a whole mob of those crazy motherfuckers came crashing in here like bloody animals. It's amazing anyone is still alive. I'm here to talk to Moen. Where is he? Moen ain't here. I take care of business for him. Haven't laid eyes on the mook since everything gone crazy. I can take you to see him, but first, you do me a solid, right? Depends on what it is. <sighs> Here's the story. Afran fucked us good, man. His mook stole every single gun we had. Lucky for us, Afran's people didn't get too far, though. We heard on the radio that their car got swamped and they're stuck out there, waiting for help. Go there and get our weapons back, and I'll tell you how to find Moen. Let's do this. All right, just hurry. Those bloody fools won't stick around there forever. If you want to get those sons of bitches, you better hurry. There is a shortcut up to the village leading to the town, and I'm going to go that way. And you will sneak up on those bastards from behind. Good luck. Hey! Huh? A lot of villagers were badly hurt the last time they attacked. We need bandages and disinfectant to dress their wounds. Do you think you could find some for us? Definitely. Good. Well, thank you. Look in Robin's hut up in the village. He had some medical supplies put away for an emergency. Please, hurry! I guess you need some supplies. Matutero told me to repair the gate. Unfortunately, the tools are in the house by the pier, and those things are over there. Those people who won't die. Will you help me out with them? Absolutely. Thank you. I'll be right here.
Let's open this up. For the time being. Thanks for all your help. Hope this helps. Afrin set our food supplies on fire. What's left will barely last us till tomorrow. Will you help us? Yes. Name's Brian. Thanks, eh? Hey, we don't know if animals are infected with this shit, so uh, we better not risk it. Hey, you should see if you can find any canned food. I saw some supplies in the bunkers a while ago. Maybe they're still there. Uh, everyone is starving. Thanks. Thank you so much. If you find something else out there, you know where to find me. My what? Vargas is one of Afran's crew. He killed my Katie. She was in his way and he just... He just blew her away. He needs to die. He needs to suffer. And I'll give you whatever it takes to make that happen. I'll try. All right, then. We have a deal. The bloody kid was headed back to his boss when Matutero blocked his way. Scared him off. He's headed towards the canyon up from the village. Catch him and kill him and make sure he suffers. He doesn't deserve an easy death. He's getting away. Kill that abo bastard!
Maybe there's something in here. Now they're really dead.
Come on! So, did you take care of your business? You goddamn did it! You did what you said! I hold up my end of the bargain too, then. I'll take you to Moen, but it won't be easy. To reach him, we need a boat, and the only boat we had was stolen by that bastard Afran. If you want to talk to Moen, you have to get it back. You think you can do it? Yes. Great. There is only one village in the Crocodile Valley that has access to the river. So my guess is that's where you'll find Afran. I doubt he would get rid of the boat. Get going. Thank you. Oh, this'll do just fine. Take this. Here. It's the least I can do. I was hoping maybe you could help- There are some local healing herbs we can use to tend to the wounded. Would you be willing to locate some for me? Let's do it. This is good karma for you. You'll find these healing herbs growing in the swamps near the village. It's called Gatu Kola.
Sneaky! Monster! You're not leaving alive! Easy, Drusha. We're coming to you. The whole island is surrounded by Navy ships. We'll try to go around them. I mean, if you hadn't shown up, I, I think, I think I'm okay.
in hell. Take a look. Yes, Colonel. All access to the island has been severed. Ships are deployed around the entire perimeter. A bloody minnow couldn't slip through. There haven't been any problems apart from one minor incident. A fishing boat tried to get through to the island. I already dispatched a patrol after it. Yes, sir. Affirmative. No witnesses.
fucking dead! Let him live! Over there! The bigger they are... Good job, friends. The boat is ready to get going. We can well then. 
Ready for a meet-in with Moen? All right. Okay, let's go. We're here. You will find Moen in the hut at the other side of the way. How's it? Nowadays, you can't trust nobody. But Matutero says you're okay. And that's one brother I trust. Your bra from the radio has it wrong, okay. I don't know no way to any prison. Can't help you with that. But I do know where the walking dead come from. And if you want, I can take you there. Deep in a jungle. A place where they do ugly experiments with God's creatures. This is where the corpses come from. This I know. You want to go? Sure. Okay then. Let's go. Straight ahead that way. I'll wait here in the boat. I feel safe on the river. Don't mind me, I'll just wait right here. All right then, I hope he fucking suffered.
impressed. You tore through those undead like a tornado. I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Will. You'd better talk to Dr. West. He's in charge here. You have to go through the locker rooms. The scientists here have started building barricades. Go. Look, see for yourselves. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. This isn't what I'm trained to do. I'm sure you're wondering what a laboratory like this is doing in the middle of a jungle. It's simple, really. We're developing, as well as testing various cosmetics, away from prying eyes. You see, our previous lab was firebombed by animal rights activists. But right now, we're dealing with a more immediate problem. The source of this bizarre infection. I I'm sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Robert West. I've been examining the blood of several natives suffering from this infection, and it appears to be a virus of some kind. But it mutates so quickly it's impossible to classify. If you don't mind, I'll take a sample from each of you. In that case, uh, please, line up. Excellent. Thank you. I should have some answers in a few hours. In the meantime, perhaps you could help out a bit here? Maybe there's something inside. Robert, they're trying to claw through. I managed to distract their attention. Oh my god, they see me! Help me! Frank needs our help. Frank was trapped in the other part of the laboratory. You have to help him. Okay. Thank you. Please, hurry. You made it! Frank found a way to turn oleander sap into a poison that can shut down the central nervous systems of the infected, at least temporarily. Okay. Frank, stay where you are. Just hold on. Hey, don't come in. I may be infected. I didn't want to worry West, as as I can, I'll be but my blood. the emergency generator is almost out of gas. Unfortunately, I have to watch the entrance, but I'm sure you can handle it. Yes. The main fuse of the generator needs to be replaced. You'll find a new fuse in the warehouse right behind the laboratory. The generator is located just a little bit farther. Don't worry. I'll stay in touch through the camera surveillance system.
Okay, we hit some kind of animal, and the car careened off the road and down an embankment uh, through the trees. The driver, my driver, is badly hurt. I think his leg is broken. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm hearing something else, too. What the fuck is that? Something's coming. God, it's something big. God. An orangutan. Fuck. Oh, Jesus no. Christ. It's a Down the hill. It's the animal we hit. It should be dead. Why the fuck isn't it? Oh. Burn in hell. Thank you. Seriously. You may have just saved us all. Hey, if you need shells for the shotgun, please help yourselves. Talk to Dr. West. I think he might have discovered something. here.
I've exam- It's a bit of a mystery. You all have the same blood type, O negative, but that might just be a coincidence. For some reason, the virus doesn't react to your T-cells the way it does to others. It doesn't mutate. It doesn't duplicate. It just dies. The only possible way to make someone else immune would be a complete blood transfusion. Not a practical solution, as it would likely result in your death. Good. Now, this is what I do know. It appears to be a strange mutation of a degenerative neurological disease endemic to this region, Kuru. It's a prion disease, like mad cow, only it affects humans, and was first discovered among the indigenous tribes that practiced cannibalism. The infected natives were brought in by their kinfolk, but the kinfolk weren't sick. The question is, why? What's the connection between you and them? Does their blood possess antibodies yours doesn't? The answer could save thousands of lives. I heard they left their village and set up camp somewhere nearby. I'm sure they're not far. I need you to find them and convince them to allow you to take some blood samples. Can you do this? Yes. I want to take blood samples, but they won't allow it. For you see, blood is sacred to them. I, I tried to explain, but I'm afraid I offended them. God, you made it in time. Remember, several hours ago, my good friend broke off all contact on the CB radio. I hope it's just his equipment that's in trouble and not him. Let's do it. Can you check and see if he's safe and sound? What if...
Bigger they are.
Please, I need oleander blossoms. They are needed so we won't become one of them. We can end our lives and leave this earth and go to the dream time. Will you help us? I'll try. Oleander grows in well-lit places. You did it. Incredible. I won't ask how. However, I will need time to do my work. Perhaps you'd be willing to help us out here for just a bit longer? We need every scientist. We're running out of aluminum potassium sulfate, and its use is crucial to our research. Can you get me that chemical from the warehouse? Let's do it. Do be careful with it. I could use some help with the research we're conducting. We can't really tell whether the drugs actually help the infected. Transformation takes place so quickly it's impossible to take a proper sample. John and Nick agreed to test the drugs on themselves, but we don't have the results yet. Yes. All right. We managed to lock a few of the infected in the stock room. You need to draw the sample from their muscle tissue. But hurry, if they mutate any further, it'll be too late.
We're so close. That's it! Yes, you did it!
Maybe there's something inside. That's what I was worried about. Everyone is succumbing. If they come, I can't fight them. I'm hoping you can help me. I, if I go out there, I'll never make it back. There are too many, and I can't fight them. I'm slowly running out of food. I'm trying to make it last. But I'm lightheaded. I'm weak. I'm not sure if the serum I took will work correctly in my weakened condition. Sure. Search through the nearby living quarters. I'm sure you'll find something edible. Crackers, soup, anything. Will you help me? With these provisions, I will easily survive until help arrives. I feel much worse, and I'm afraid that the serum isn't working, and eventually I will become one of them. It was my birthday a month ago. My parents, they wanted to visit, but as usual, I 
blew them off. Will you give them a message for me? Yes. The network in my laboratory should still be operational. All you have to do is send them this short message from my computer. Very impressive, thank you. This may furnish a few pieces still missing from the puzzle. The pieces are starting. Kuru is endemic among the native population here but the incubation period can take up to 12 years. Many of the natives here have built up an immunity which keeps the virus latent even longer. But this new virus is very different. It goes full-blown within hours. I think I may be able to create a vaccine, but to do so, I need a stable version of Kuru that hasn't yet mutated. Can you help me with that? Okay. You must find someone from Ope's clan. Someone who hasn't had any contact with the infected and get a sample of their blood or tissue. Speak with the shaman, because I don't know if anyone like that even exists. Alright then. You just need to find someone from Opie's clan who hasn't had contact with the infected. And they don't even have to be bloody alive. See, they have a practice here where they embalm the dead, turn them into mummies, right? You just need to find one of these mummies and take a sample. Listen to me. Emily is still alive. We still have a chance to save her. I heard Dr. West say you would help us out. We devised a formula that can render someone temporarily invisible to the undead. It uses a pheromone inhibitor and fools them into believing that you are not among the living. But to complete the formula, I need a compound called Icaridin. It's highly volatile, and we keep it in chemical storage. Do you think you can find some and bring it back? Let's do this. Très bien. The storage facility you want is behind the main building. Hello, have you a mom? If you happen to be near the bungalows, could I ask you a favor? Could you look in bungalow number three for my work files? They should be on the desk with my laptop. I was working on protein folding simulations. If you find them, please bring them here. 
It would take us days to recreate that data, and we don't have days. Yes. Great. I'll be right here waiting. Thank you. Let's take a look. You have it! Très bien! Okay, give me a minute. I will mix the formula.
See those files on the table? Take that to Monroe at the lab. He'll know what to, what to do. Please. Sure. Go. It's been a long time since I last told my parents how much I loved them. Thank you.
Welcome! Every person in my village ate the flesh of the immortals. But many did not resurrect. The spirits are angry with us. The only warriors left are in the tombs of our ancestors. It is in the mountains near our village. Take me to your boat and I will lead you. Far before the first of my kind walked the land, before this world even existed as it is, there was another time. The dream time. In this time, nothing had substance, and there was no life or death. Maybe there's something inside. We existed without fear, without pain, without purpose. We travel there in our sleep, for the dream time is always with us, waiting in the darkness. from deep within the void and darkness, and created the sky, and the sea, and the land, and everything alive, and everything that isn't. The great serpent who created the... Do you see them? Their spirits remain on this plane. They live in both worlds, the dream time and our time. That is why they are sacred. Another one! Don't let them stop us! Take a look.
understand? They worship these bloody things. They ain't be infected to become resurrected. So I'm afraid you might have some problems with this shaman. Keep an eye on him, right? What's this? This... This is astounding. You say this is Connor's work? What a shame. Such a loss. I need to get started with this. I come back in a bit. If this is true, I will be able to produce something... something quite amazing. So we can, with the infected roaming freely around the compound grounds, things have grown increasingly more difficult. For example, our food and water is located in a separate building entirely. If you could clear the warehouse of the infected, we'd all be very grateful. It's hard to concentrate when you're lightheaded from lack of food and water. What do you say? I'm in. Good. Thank you. Keep up the good work. There it is. Thank you. This could make all the difference. I need some help with my research. But to continue my research, I need you to find something for me. I need a large quantity of diseased tissue from a specific type of the infected. I'm interested only in those that are bloated and swollen as if they'd been drowned and left to rot. I'll see what I can do. They can be found near large pools of water. I'm sure there are quite a few in the nearby swamps. The sooner you find it, this'll do just fine. I'll tell Dr. West how helpful you've been.
Great job. Thank you. One less problem to worry about. Can I ask you something? There's a mutation of the contagion, which is causing some of the infected to putrefy at a very rapid rate. This causes a powerful buildup of internal gases, creating pressure so intense that it actually causes them to explode. If you can find me five cases of this specific mutation, that would be extremely helpful. I'll do my best. Good. Thank you. Come. We make the sacrifices for the spirits at this altar. Beautiful. Here is my village. Angry spirits are everywhere. Stay close to me. Maybe we will avoid a fight. I resurrected Gratos and great warriors.
not dressed for this. are a warning. Do you see them? It is beautiful here. Maybe there's something we useful. Have to get to the other side. They want to stop us. Destroy the lever. Get to the second lever. <gasps> We 
are in a most sick. Here in this tomb, you will find many of my ancestors. Great heroes, come. See any mummies? No! What the hell? Very bad spirits. Stay away. See that man? That was fucking voodoo. Not a living dead shit. I don't see any bite marks. If she didn't eat those stiffs, then she's probably fine. And what if she ain't fine? Maybe you should ask her, huh? Hey, Shorty, you have some zombie for lunch? She's saying something. I had to. Everyone had to. They believe if they'd eat. They would live forever. We'll have to take her with us. First, we need to find them damn mummies. Now what? If you want to get to the village, I know a shortcut. I was born here. We need to go this way. Allah, watch out! There's more of them here than you think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look out! Look out! Look there, at the altar. Is that your friend? I was gonna find something valuable here. Instead, I get tricked like a stupid. Someone's there. Oh! <laughs> 
Is it safe? Can't hurt to look. All right. I thought I was going to die. If this mummy has been properly preserved, the DNA might still be intact. This might just work, but it will take some time. We may be able to save this island after all. As for the girl, I need to check her blood. If she's infected, she should stay here. We'll be in touch. How long can this take? hanging in, but she's sick. Very, very sick. You need to talk to Moen. Despite what he said, he knows the way to the prison here. He's the only one who can get you in. So you do whatever you have to. Otherwise, nobody's gonna make it. Brothers, I've been waiting for you. You saved my life for the second time, so I owe you one, yeah? Your friend wasn't lying. I do know the way to the prison. It's fucking dangerous, so I don't like to go. But if you want, I'll take you there. Before we go, though, we gotta stop in town and get some necessary things. Listen, friends, there are two things that need to be taken care of before we head out. First thing is gas for the boat. We won't get there on fumes. The second thing is something special for Titus, so he lets us through. Otherwise, we can forget about ever getting inside. So what's it gonna be? Definitely. Okay, then. You'll find a fuel at the gas station. If you can find a car while you're there, you'll get back a lot quicker. I keep the stash for Titus in the red container by the seaside hangars. Here's the key to the storage unit. I'm staying here. I'll watch the boat. Good luck. Oh! <laughs> 
They quarantined the island. Looks like the army's not coming to the rescue then. I guess they wrote us off. Whatever they're doing, they clearly don't give a rat's ass about us. I need to put some thought into this. All right, brothers. We are almost there. One last thing. The water's getting choppy as hell. We get tossed around too much, we may hit one of those mines. And that's the end of the story, right? So we need to go to the workshop at the beach and make a few modifications. There we go. That should do it.
There's something... There's something else I need to do, all right? But I need to do it alone. So just... Just wait here. Love you, Dad. He took my blood once, then again, and again. He wanted to bleed me dry, and when I asked him why, he was surprised. The savage can talk. But I ran away from my village to go to the city, to go to school, so I know a person can only lose so much blood. I locked myself in the cage to get away from him, and when he tried to open it, using that computer, he opened them all. And those things, jumped on him and 
tore him apart. I screamed, but no one came. He almost had the bloody vaccine. He said he knew everything, that he knew how to make it. Wait. What if he did? Maybe he did make it. Do you hear me? Search the bloody lab. It's got to be there somewhere. The vaccine. Find it. Otherwise, my Emily isn't going to make it. Take a look. All those people? Dead? Jesus Christ! Anything will help. You have it? Thank God! Now take it and don't bloody lose it. I'm waiting for you on the prison island. Hurry!
I unpopped all the doors I could. Not very many, unfortunately. I don't have access to much of the security grid since it's on emergency power. We're running on res power, and I don't know how long... If we lose cont... Look for me and block... And for the love of God, if you cut... The prisoners don't bloody trust them. I'm responsible for a lot of them being here. So if you bring them to me, they'll kill me, and then you. Something's moving out there. It's more of those things, bro. I don't think so. Moin! That you, brother? Who you got with you? You keep all quiet, okay? I know how to talk to these mokes. They're okay, bro. They're helping me get past these dead fuckers. Where's Titus at? Everybody's in that canteen, bro. Safest place here, all right? They keep the worst of the worst here. Yo, man, you think they've been bitten? What the fuck? Oh, look at the fine ass on that one. Stay back. Oh, well, shit, she fine as hell. Probably infected. What now? How did you all get here? Are you infected? Don't you recognize me, bro? Maybe I do, maybe no. You recognize these? Nice, brother. But what I really need is a couple of those, right? We got weapons way better than guns. These people are immune, man. They get bit, they don't get infected. Maybe you could help each other out. How? We want to get to Block C. You heard what the lady said. We want to get to Block C. To White? He talked with us too, brother. But somehow, we couldn't help each other. Nothing to trade. You, on the other hand, maybe we can make a deal. All right, I got an idea. Cell A340. Been here longer than you've been alive. Mean son of a bitch. You get him out and bring him here. He'll know what to do. I'll do my best. Cell A314, solitary. Don't keep me waiting too long. I don't like the way they're looking at me. Hey, brothers. Those things ain't the biggest problem in here, I hope you know. You ever heard of the Butcher of Banoi? No? There's a lot of sick-ass psycho killers in this hall. But there's one mook nobody fucks with. This brother took a machete, chopped up his whole fucking family when he was nine, man. That crazy asshole's running free and he scares everybody. Gangsters, rascals, terrorists, hitmen for the Russian fucking mafia. They're all pissing in their pants. You take that fucker out, and you're gonna make a lot of friends around here. Yes. <laughs> okay then. You crazier than you look. Don't know where he went, but if I was you, I'd follow the dead bodies. <laughs> the ones that aren't walking, I mean.
If you have the ball. Alright then, let's open it up. Oof! Ah, I heard. Good work, brothers. Now we just gotta deal with those brain dead zombie motherfuckers. Gotcha! Hey, you need something? Stand here on the side. Listen here, bro. I need a fix, right? Drugs. You know what I'm saying? And that fucking dealer is hiding out in his cell and he has everything in there. I need something now, bro. Whatever you can fucking find. I'll do my best. Yes. Okay then. Cell 1-9. His stash is in there somewhere. He should be there too. Alive, dead, dead, I don't know. He don't want to help us at all. He's just working by his own. Watch back.
Okay, let's go. And if some of those freaks come running, you know what to do. Let's do this, brah. <sighs> I couldn't wait to get out of that fucking place. Huh. Here we go. The bigger they are. We need to stay together. Let's do this, brah. <sighs> we better get a move on, huh? That's a big mother! Better take him down before some of his... He don't want to help us at all. Good to see you back, brothers. Guy Wayne. I'm starving, huh? And I need a motherfucking smoke, huh? Thank you, true brothers. I owe ya.
So you want to get to block C? I can let you pass, brothers. But first, you gotta do something for me. First off, I need more firepower for my boys, so they ain't so fucking afraid of those things. What you brought ain't gonna do. We need you to get more. Upstairs, there's an armory. But it's crawling with those walking corpses. Sure. Bring back as many of those weapons and all the ammo you can carry. My boys will show you the way. I'll wait here with Moen and the ladies. Don't worry now. They be safe with us. Unless you try and fuck me. Go! Besides all Titus doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm Kevin. Titus thought I could be of some help. I've unlocked a few doors in my day, you know? But there's nothing I can do here. This lock's tamper-proof, man. And I need the master key. Only the senior guards have those. So get the master key, or you ain't getting in. Got it? Sure. All right, the senior guard should have the key. When all hell broke loose, he hid out in his office with three of his thugs. The office is down that corridor. I'll stay here and fiddle with this fucker. Drongo bastards! Good. Now I'll start working on the door, and you make sure I don't get a surprise. I just have to swipe this car through, and... Why'd that door open? What the hell? Let me give it another shot. I'm going to get the electronics up. One more try. Holy shit. 
So let's roll the dice. what you want. Maybe you'll find something for me in there too. When Titus gets... That's all there was? That's not gonna do it. We're gonna have to figure something else out here. Looks like we're gonna be here a while. So we need some food. My boys get too hungry, they get cranky, they get mean. Things could get rough. How about you go for the kitchen and bring us back some food, huh? Let's do it. The kitchen is nearby, next to the cafeteria. I can't stay here. I can't do it. I can't. Jim cannot help. Please hurry. Hey, mate, see that big guy over there? Yeah, he don't look right, huh? It's gonna need his medicine soon, or there's gonna be serious trouble. Trust me, I've seen him take on five gods at once. If we don't get him his Thorazine soon, those things outside will be the least of our problems. You're gonna have to go to the infirmary and get him that medicine, right? I'll do my best. Good. Look for some Thorazine. Bring as much as you can find. Good, finally. I'll just make sure he gets this. You just prevented a major catastrophe, mate. I can't stay here. must
That's what I'm talking about. When you're this hungry, anything tastes good, right? There's one other place where you might find some. The guards have some rooms near cell block B. It's pretty well protected, okay? You know, in case of a fucking riot. You should find some weapons there. All kinds of shit. Only getting there could be a problem. They've crammed a shitload of prisoners and bee brothers. So there's a fucking army of those things in there. Tell you what, you do this for me, and we'll let you through to Block C. I'll try. Find the guards' arsenal. Bring the weapons and ammo back, and I'll let you through to Block C. Now get going, but watch your back. When this came down, some fuckwit opened all the cells. I'm thinking the ladies should stay here with us. For their own protection. Kase o ona. I think we'd better wait here. Let us know when it's safe. It's insane that I'm Not just walking dead, but some of those hacks might still be alive. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh my god! All was quiet, and then everything went crazy. A mob of prisoners attacked Titus and his men, and then the undead came, attracted by the screams. Moen spirited us away and traded his boat to Alvaro, so that he would tell us how to find you. He was helping us into a ventilation shaft when the dead got their hands on him, and he sacrificed himself so that we could get away. There were too many. There was nothing we could do. They tore into him like hungry animals, and all we could do was watch. If not for Moen, we would not be here. Get up! Wake up! This ain't no time to be taking a damn nap! What happened? The fuck aghast us! I heard you talking to White. I'm the one who helped you open the locks. We gotta get the hell out of here. Like, now. And how do we do that? Since Colonel Trust Me just fuck. You had something he wanted. He came in here and took it right off you like he knew just where to find it. The vaccine. What the hell? Well, that's just great. Told you we couldn't trust it. We gotta move. Come on. There's a chopper on the roof. It's waiting for White. And if that asshole reaches it before we do, he's flying the fuck out of here and calling in the bombers. Thermonuclear annihilation. The whole goddamn island. We gotta catch him while we still have a chance. What chance is that? White's headed to the hospital. He's picking up his wife to take her to the chopper. Being she's out of her goddamn mind, that'll take some time. He's going through the left wing. Not so many infected, but that's the long way. So, what's the short way? Take the elevator to the top, which takes you straight to the other wing of the hospital. It's riskier, but we can reach the roof faster. Only the badasses should take the elevator. Me and the rest will take the safer way and meet you at the top. Shake a leg for fuck's sake. Maybe there's something inside.
Too late! Emily You think you can stop me? I was always one step ahead of you!
not fit to live. You know what they say. Fight fire with fire. I don't have to explain myself to you. Look, your wife is gone. Look at her. She ain't coming back. But you can still save Take us. Take one more step and you're dead. I have the cure, all right? The doctors in Sydney will make more. We'll send helicopters. We'll save everyone. With a nuclear bomb? Kevin told us the plan. You're gonna kill everyone. Maybe I should start with you. I have no choice here, right? This virus threatens the entire bloody world. Benoit is lost either way. It's easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back! They hardly seem human! Stop! But killing someone you love? It's not so easy, is it? Ah! Son of a bitch! Shit! Ah! He was right about one thing. Benoit is lost. If not him, then someone else will soon send a nuke with our name on it. The quicker we leave, the better. officials, Benoit is still under quarantine. The sought-after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically, originally a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. It is home to many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al-Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack, and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There is no basis for these ridiculous rumours. The entire island is under military quarantine, and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen and every other terrorist in prison there isn't going anywhere. Humanitarian aid is on its way, and you can be sure that the virus 
or whatever it is, will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoy. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, I'll be goddamn glad to have all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be. It's not. And never will be. Trust me.